G'day gang, Danny, how's it going folks? We're back in the World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore Edition. Uh, we are level 4 at the moment, just gonna go and fight some spiders now. Get a few spiders to fight. Uh, so we gotta get Young Night Web Spider Slain. Night Web Spider. So Young and Night. Not halfway through this level. Picking up whatever loot we can get. So, so far everything is yellow, so that's good, but I wonder what happens when we go inside there, whether they, everything just um, start, is red. Because in the Night Elf area, there is, there's another cavern with spiders in it. But I believe they're red. Once you go inside. Yep, here we go. Okay. So gotta be careful. Just in case. Don't want to end up taking on like two or three, you know. Especially right now, I don't have I don't have any healing potions or anything like that. Oh, thank you very much. Our first pouch. Extra bag space. Extra bag space is king. Use my throne weapon to get them all out. See, wow, it looks like there's just that one there. I don't know what's off to the left or the right. I rush in there. Yep, I might be facing two or three. Six, we need two more. What if there's a chest at the back here? One major damage inflicted every three seconds. All right, I just want to head. Oh, can't can't stealth while I'm in. <laughs> I got poison on me. Can't do that. Just wonder if there's a chest around here. love to have a better dagger sharp letter opener or something like that what have I got at the moment a worn dagger there is there's a lot of spiders around too <laughs> is it worth it I don't know I might open it up and all I get is a bunch of bananas 
See, there's there's quite a few around. My aggro radius, I'm not entirely sure of. Well, let's try it out. Might be a, the shortest episode. Seems to be okay. Thankfully, these spiders aren't going to run away. But if that chest has got like a dagger in it... That'd be fantastic. I've got another one over here, another one there. I might be a little bit close there. Let's get this one. I'm one bar away from leveling up. Ah, oh, some pants. Pants are good. I will just, I will try and get that dude. Just seems like it's a little bit too close to that chest. Nightweb Matriarch. Thank you very much. What if I actually got to come back and take the Matriarch out? Oh, nothing but shiny red apples and some pants. Oh, well. It's not really a treasure chest at all, is it? It does say, or it did say battered chest. That's just a chest. Some might find that uh, to be treasure. A couple of apples, maybe. Shiny red apples. Although shiny red apples, pristine apples inside a chest. I don't know who, long, who knows how long it's been in there for. You have to be a little suspicious of that, wouldn't you? Good thing I'm already dead. Poison zombie, I can sneak out now. A little suspicious they are. Got a patrol here. They didn't see nothing. Need three more of these guys and we're home free. I don't know. I might actually end up going in. Subtlety again. Oh my goodness, a second pouch? What is going on? <laughs> no way. I should just keep farming these things up and they're going to keep dropping pouches. And why have these spiders got pouches anyway? What's going on? Got a cloak out of this one. What if anyone's bothered to go and become like a tailor or something? Simply just to get the bags, to get the best bags they can, then ditch it and go and get like. I don't know, engineering or alchemy or something. I wonder how far up tailoring you need to go just to get like a decent bag. I don't know, like a 12 slot bag or a 14. What is it? Well, it's a start. It'll take a few weeks or months to fully clean out the infestation. After oh, that, yeah. We'll so, I was talking about this before where you can see the, uh, the price. 
where you can see how much it's worth at the vendor. So it actually ended up being this add-on, uh, Auctionator. Hang on, Auctionator here. And then I just went over to Auctionator to my add-on. Under tooltips, I disabled the auction tooltips and I just left these ones um, available so you can see the vendor tooltips. Speak quickly. So you, if you don't want to wear any other things, use any other things, you can go for the one that sells the most and sell that to the vendor. I'm going to go and choose this though. Ooh, well, dagger. Short. It'll take a few weeks or months to fully clean up the infestation. Dagger quest. After that, we'll have to get down there with some torches to burn away the webbing. You've done your duty well, adventurer. I'm sure I can find something else for you to do. Two silver. Plenty of cloaks. Don't think I need the apple. I don't think I need that. So we'll get rid of all that. We've got three silver now. Level five. So we need to get Scarlet Armbands. Yeah, it's interesting. We didn't get a quest to go and take on the, ma the Matriarch there. I thought we would have got one. Oh, he resisted my pickpocketing. So when the hardcore servers, the official ones, launch, will you give it a go? Do you expect there to be much different? Than what you're already used to? Also, with that same announcement came the news that they were working. They were working on the next season, but it wasn't. It wasn't going to be a season of my. Oh crap! It wasn't going to be a season of mastery. Which re reignited the uh, speculation of a classic plus. Okay. 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 So these people are red. So I best watch myself. Armband. Nope. Cheese. Ras garde hamrang nad nad that I what? <laughs> Wait a minute! I, I used to be a human, right? So should I understand what they just said? They spoken in a different language, one that I have not heard before. I mean, actually, I could have been, I could have been, well, I got those eyes, those crazy eyes, maybe I was a night elf. I don't know. I am all hunched down and everything, so. Straight my back out. My night, I was a night elf that has no idea the hell these crazy humans are seen. In fact, I could be that night elf that I played and died in hardcore. That's the night elf I am. I came back as an undead. There you go. There's some lore for you. My night elf warrior dies. He'll come back as a undead warrior. I'm 
Yeah, I think I'll just pull these guys in from a distance. Play it a little safer. If I get to the next town, which is Brill, I'm gonna go pick up alchemy and herbalism. First aid as well, actually. Five more to go. Tarnished bastard sword. These people are dying real easy. I am level five. No trouble yet. Haven't seen too many people die, I don't think it was just one, right? So far. It is, although it is uh, midday in Australia, so during the week. A little bit more active at night time. Oh, 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 no like this. Don't like this. I don't like this. Thankfully it didn't hurt too much. Copper fireball to the face. And shield. So let's leave those casters alone. Got a little camp over here with a few more. And then I straight up take on another caster. Immediately. Right. Oh, they've all respawned. I'm going to pick your pocket there, Convert. Just keep on moving. Now, I do have a Hearthstone, which will take me back here. But being that I'm in Classic now, it's a one-hour cooldown. So, I think I'd rather just run back than waste it. Let me know, there could be a situation where... You are outnumbered, and for some reason you've got enough time to Hearthstone out of there. I mean, sometimes you get lucky and they go and try to hit you and, you know, you dodge it. I am forsaken. If only they listen to reason, eh, adventurer? Perhaps we could sit them down for reasonable discourse. Ha <laughs> ha! Light-blinded fools. Kill Mevan. What is it? So that's... Equip this. Uh, I'll hang on to this one for now, because if we get dual wield, at least I've got something that I can use. Is that a main hander? Nope. Okay, good. Uh, I'll hang on to the food for now. The cheese, even though I've got a whole bunch of mushrooms. I actually get rid of them when I don't need it. Watch your back. The only reason I'm hanging on to the refreshing spring water is because if I get cooking, there is one... There's something I can craft that requires that so I'll hang on to it just in case I get that I'm otherwise I'll just sell it four, four silver at the moment good spot good spot okay so there's a guy called Melvin Reports from my superiors in Brevin that an agent of the Scarlet Crusade was dispatched from the Scarlet Monastery and sent here to Death Knell. 
According to the reports, the messenger possesses important information on his person. I do not have further details, but whatever it is, we must have it. You're the most qualified person I have to see. Find the messenger and bring me whatever information you need. I am on it. Mevin, Mevin, Mevin. Mevin right there. Alright, don't call your friends, okay? Just come out here solo. Face me alone. Warrior versus cheeky rogue. Done and done. Too easy. Cloffy boots. Scarlet Crusade documents. Disperse information as you deem necessary. Terrasville Regional Command. Captain Melrose. Captain Vachon. Captain Perrine. Directives by the Order of the High Lord. Captain Perrine, further fortify your position at the Southwest Tower as designated. Additional supplies will be dispatched at a later date. In the meantime, material should be obtained from the surrounding farms. Also, further reconnaissance and information. What now? Hmm. And other things Let's were see said. What you've got. Some news of their exploits against us. Worthless. Scouting reports. New orders. Continue to build up a camp near the ruined city. Nothing we didn't know already. Ah, what's this? A map of the dispositions of some of their field commanders and agents. We can use this. We can indeed. All right, so we're about to head on out now. Uh, this is leading us. That quest is leading us out of the starting area. And then we got quests over here at Brill. Brill, Brill, Brill. Brillo. So we'll start going in that direction. Uh, I don't know what this one is. Deliver the nondescript letter to Innkeeper Renee at in Terraceville Glades. Which I imagine is over here. Steal 10 pumpkins, collect 3 gloom weed, all things that we are capable of doing. Folks, if you're enjoying this series, uh, do me a favor, hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more, more, um, hit the subscribe button there for future hey, mate. videos. Do a favor for a whoa, 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 did you just say hey mate? Hey mate, <laughs> do a favor for a... I will do it for you, mate. No problem. Hey, mate. Hello, mate. All right. Yes, I do other Let's Plays here on this channel. Uh, ones where I actually do proper questing. I read all the quests. And uh, I go out there and I do them. Uh, we have a human paladin and we got a sh orc shaman series. One doing... What have we here? You one covering the alliance side. One covering the, the, uh, the horde side. Hang on, do I, should I get that quest as well? Or is that Gordo's task? Which is definitely quest focused. This right here is survival focused. But if you'd have interest in seeing any of those, you can check that out here on the channel. Also got a Dragonflight series going. Uh, which is currently up to the latest raid in 10.1. I'm just about to enter and uh, and tank it actually on my paladin. And again, that's a quest campaign focused, story focused. All right, Gordo is a patroller, I suppose. So let's go get those pumpkins. Oh, interesting thing is I had no intention of playing hardcore. It's only after I finished a series where I played Dark Souls 2. And after that I went back to World of Warcraft. I was like, man, it'd be cool if it was a little bit more difficult. I was like, well, Classic was a little bit more difficult. A lot more difficult. Uh, so let's try out this hardcore thing. You know, the idea of playing a character and then deleting it once it die just did not appeal. But 
I don't know, something after playing Dark Souls triggered, triggered me. And I've been having a lot of fun doing it. I wish I got into it a lot earlier. I did try it on retail once. I think I actually died around about the same level, 20 something. That was a different rule set there. I can't remember if you could actually use green items. I think it was just like white or grey items at the time. Oh, this guy's coming on over. That's right, you go back that way, punk. Yeah, but I have to have a look at that. See if there is a retail hardcore mode again. And what the rules are. If they change at all. But yeah, it was interesting play like that. I think there's a silver spawn in there. I'd probably be a bit more confident going in there if I actually had some buffs. Food buffs and potions and so on. Come on, backstab. Backstab that guy. Well, there's the potion. Should I give it a go? He's level 8 though. Seems like it might be a little bit too high. And I've got no real way of escaping. It's not like I can stun him, I can't gouge him or any of that stuff. At least not yet. Maybe if I go back to the train I'll be able to get that. Might just leave it for now. Focus on the pumpkins. And pumpkins are huge. <laughs> These guys are tough farmers. Like, you gotta think, they're in a area that looks like this craggy trees uh busted up farmhouses undead running everywhere and they're like nah i got it i'm staying i'm getting i'm harvesting me pumpkins damn it they've got pumpkins of steel oh. it's not like they got guards around here or anything like that they're just out here, farming their pumpkins. Bunch of pitchforks. Alright, we got two more over here. But I need ten altogether. What have we here? You look like a fledgling adventurer. If you hope to prove yourself to the Dark Lady, you need to learn the ways of the Forsaken. To the west, you'll find a farm. Humans infest the land like mold on a rotting corpse. And worse yet, the Scarlet Crusade patrols nearby from their tower. Teach those scum a lesson and steal ten of their precious pumpkins. Once you have ten, take them to Apothecary Johan in Brill. Raw, okay. Teach them a lesson by stealing their pumpkins. Well, the Apothecary's probably got something planned then. Linen cloth. I'll need a lot of that. Ooh, level 7. Be actually good if there was a level 8 around here. Just to see how I would go against one. Let's try level 7 though. Oh! He's seen me! Keen senses he's got. Keen pumpkin farming senses. Let's go pumpkin boy. 
I'm standing in pretty low. But maybe they are made out of steel. Yep, that's some low health. Better eat a mushroom. Actually, I could have just eaten his gnawed on his leg there. That was level 7. I might leave that guy alone. Again, I do have that potion which will help a lot, but I feel a lot more confident with uh, a couple of other potions. This one's a warrior. Damn it! Spotted! Gonna have to get some big hits here. Just wanna make sure nothing else is coming her way. Come on, hit, hit, hit! You're a rogue! You're a master of the dagger! You should never miss. That's number eight. Right? A rogue should never miss. That's what they do. Striking hard from the shadows. Alright, so we've got this final pumpkin. And then we got to go head over to Brill. And see if we can find Gordo along the way. <laughs> 